flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. Good morning, YouTube. Your boy Chris out on the gold wing today. Uh, fixing to leave California, fixing to head out. Uh, it's been a good stay here at the Hyatt Regency. Very nice hotel here at the Hyatt Regency. Had a very good ride, and we're going to be heading out back to Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're going to be meeting up with uh, Dustin, Jason, a little bit. I think we're good. I think everybody's good. Is everybody on? Bring everybody in. Stand by. Yeah, y'all just don't know. Chris yeah. Brown. We know. Chris Brown called me, so y'all just don't know. He called you, told you to stop singing. <laughs> but it's up his name. Up oh Lord, Lord have <laughs> y'all ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. I got the spot. Uh... All right, we'll have a good little ride. Is that a Ferrari? I had to turn it off and turn it back on. Yeah, I got you. That's what it is. Speak. Autobots, roll out. Roll out. Oh, that didn't sound good. Damn. Yeah, them, yeah, them, them speed bumps, you got to kind of go them slow. Cause they, yeah. yeah. That was, that was yeah. God's yeah. Yeah. back trailer. They scraped your, uh, your trailer kickstand is what they'll scrape. Italy, uh, I, I don't even like that kickstand no way. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna give me a long key stand. That one too short. I got a real silly question for y'all. Have y'all ever gone out of town, left a, a parking lot, realized you forgot your wife? No, <laughs> no, never done no. that. Boy, you no, trying to get us? That, that, yeah, you, you pay yourself on that one. <laughs> Thanking again. Yes, please. Let me make sure we're not going uh, to no up no we toll good? roads. Hold on a second, y'all. Make sure we're not going up no toll roads. So this I gotta pay toll roads when we get from somewhere. I didn't do yeah. it last night. They got that one. Yeah. I forgot to do it last can night. Can you set your thing yeah. so avoid toll roads? Hold on. Let me, let me, you got let me back do that. I'm should take the scenic route. The route. Ooh. Hey, little man. Papa, I love you. Oh, hey, you got the back door. You gonna ride when I get home. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna go with what I got. I don't know if it's toll roads or not. I hope it does not. We didn't have any coming in, so hopefully we won't have nothing going out. And I didn't put anything in. <laughs> okay. Well, we had a, a tour guide that's leading us the way, so. If anybody know how to set there to no tolls, please set it. Yeah, if you have your settings, if you have your settings in whatever app or tool that you're using, it should do it without tolls. Once you go to where Dustin is and everything, we should be okay. Whether you use Waze, Google Maps, or whatever we use. Okay. That boy got his drag switching shit on. That's just too much noise for me. We going over. We going. We get. We getting on the interstate. Watch right yourself, Chris. Hold up, Chris. There you go. It's good now. I see it. That's watching. I hope the police be waiting at the bottom of the bridge with a radar. <laughs> <laughs> Slow these fools down, man. He didn't even take his drag slicks off from the weekend. Now nah, he don't know that. Going up one lane. I don't know if the Aston Martin is uh, uh, smoking, but he just making a lot of noise. 17A. Why am I taking 17? We taking 17A, y'all. 55 North. Gotcha. Go ahead, guys. Be lean them wings. Mm -hmm. I remember I used to ride the crotch rocket. The wife used to grab on tight. Lean yes, sir. That boy. Yes, sir. I would lean on purpose. <laughs> Just make it grab you, huh? Just so you yeah. can get a squeeze. Yes, sir. Hit the brakes real hard. Pull it close. <laughs> I'm getting 
in the squeeze right now, dude. <laughs> Go on over one lane. Go on over one lane. You don't hear no scream. You hear a howl. They, oh, they, say it's a, they say it's a wing, but it's a howl like a wolf. Listen to me. My baby used to hold on when I was on that booster. <laughs> What you sell your high booster for? I mean, what you get? Uh, I mean, uh, what you what you uh, get it in it in its place? Uh, uh, that Indian. Oh, the Indian. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was the road yeah, master. I was in love with my 2012 booster, but my favorite bike of all would be the one that stays at home and never goes anywhere without me, and that's Goldilocks. Oh, okay. She left me one time in Nashville. Damn, out they did it at the biggest hotel in Nashville. They ain't had no cameras. Even the even your detectives were shot. He came up and he said, "Well, we're gonna look at the uh, hotel cameras and see what the vehicle looked like." And, uh, stole your truck. Everybody, antennas up. And they went in there and the folks told them they ain't had no cameras. That sucks. But we knew what the truck looked like anyway. It was white. It, be, uh, it should have been like this the last couple of days. Right. Yesterday wasn't bad. No, it wasn't too bad. Actually, it never really rained after we got to... Uh, Yeah. I got out of the trail, left the trail on the loop, and went to the, dropped the car off, and it locked on its own. Wow. <laughs> there you have it. <sighs> it must have a mind of its own for that moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had to. <laughs> when y'all get a chance, we're going to move over one lane. Once, uh, way, once, once God, yeah, right. we're going to move over one lane, lane to the left. Once God speed, take that. Lane. All right. Back door. Back door closed. Go gotcha. Ahead. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Now, all I need to know is are we going to take one more? No, nah, we good. I think we good, we good? God speed. Right. Yeah, I think we good, God speed. Hopefully wow, everybody been enjoying truck, that day. Oh yeah, that's nice. What the heck is that? Look at this truck on the left. Man, that is that's unique. That man got him an army vehicle, that. man. Yeah, that's somebody that. seriously gonna do some rock and mud crawling. That yeah. Like some, that's like some dust is made up. Oh, I pull that with my ranger. You pull that with your what? My ranger. That's above your pay grade, Amos. Apparently. <laughs> now, you don't think I can do it? I'm sure. I think that uh, Jeep will pull your Ranger. He done put an extra hackle on there, stretch the, uh, stretch the bed out, lift kit on it. Yep. My work. Time. Cat be rolling, man, out here. Good back there, D-Lo? Yes, yes, sir. All right. It's showing this beautiful view with these wings in front of me. And thank God we got Godspeed back here shutting that back door looking good. Yes, sir. Thank God we got everybody from the front to the back. From the center on this track. I'm looking at a perfect formation right now. I couldn't ask for anything more. Yes, sir. That's how we do it, baby. Stand by. So we are on 55 North. 55 North. 
and we're going to be meeting up with Dustin, meeting up with Jason in a little bit today, probably about an hour or so out from meeting up with them. So we've just been enjoying ourselves here in California. But they say all good things must come to an end. So we're on 55 North. I'm on the 2100 Gold Wing. And we rolling with the Caliente crew northbound. That's a lot of traffic out here for a Sunday morning. Yeah, man. It's 9, nine o'clock in the morning. Full house. At least it's moving. Whether you ain't lying. This guy swerving. This guy that's pulling this uh cart, this uh this older style car is kind of swerving a little bit. So y'all be careful going by him. He overloaded on that Tahoe. Well, that Tahoe drops. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, he's yeah, he exceeded that. That's he's looking up at the sky. Yeah. yeah what, he, what he need to do is roll the vehicle oh, back. It's for the luck. Yeah, he got too much weight on the front end of that trailer. Right, he need to roll the vehicle That's back and put... That's a Chevy Deluxe guy. Adjust his weight. I seen a picture of Jason's uh, bike uh, on Facebook. That joker looked pretty good with that can down. Yeah, uh, he, he got it up, real man. good. Man, that's a beautiful bike. That's a beautiful color the Honda came out with. I like that blue. Oh, yeah. Hey, Composer, say that again. What color you like? That blue? Say it again. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> now, 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 he's got high gloss. He ain't got that matte finish, though, sir. I mean, I'm just, you know. That's okay. Blue, blue wife ain't taking the first, though. She's just smiling. <laughs> She's just smiling. <laughs> Ain't nothing but blue eyes. She just smiling. So how many bikes Jason got now? About two or three, I think. <clears throat> he got the African. He got his old, uh, his old bike still, right? Oh, 1500, you know, 1800 big body. Something like and that. And you got the 2022. Hey, y'all, we're going we gonna to take this 55 to 91 east. 1.9 miles. We're going to take 91 east. Gotcha. This lane should, you know, we should be able to stay in this lane, but be prepared just in case. Copy, 91 east. Yep. <clears throat> I know he got the Africa Twin. I think he got a four-wheeler. I'm not sure if he got another bike. Well, he just he traded the uh, the 17. I don't know. I've been I've been thinking about getting rid of mine. Thinking about it. Unless I save it for the Caliente Museum. Don't do it, Chris. Chris, when you when you sell it, how much are me and JD gonna get? <laughs> if you bring the bar. I'll give you a flat, I'm going to give you a flat rate. I'm going to give you a seller's fee. You might not get enough composer because you know what he's talking about. I'm going to come get. Yeah, yeah. At 16, it's ready to go. Yeah. It's ready to go. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you something. I was shocked when he saw the original Cali uh, uh trailer. What's that? Yeah. What's that, Godfrey? I was shocked when Chris sold the original Cali oh. trailer. Oh, everything's for sale. Hey, that's what they say. Everything right is price for sale. Hey, Godspeed, I sold that trailer and never looked back. Yeah, you fell in love with that uh, Can-Am. He sure did. That, that 622 was the one. That's it. That's Especially it. when he got it back from paint. That guy had uh, man, the rising charge hit up. Outstanding yeah, job on that trailer. <laughs> yep. Hey, y'all, we're going to go over one lane when y'all get a chance. Over left. And I go over on one. Yeah, go over go, one. Go ahead. Y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. J.D., I'm on your three. I'm, I'm about at your three o'clock. All right. Yes, 
to give them room to get in. Yeah. Well, you know, it's technically five. It was really four, but I just, you know, wow. since, you, since you want to be technical, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Coming up on Imperial Highway 90. Out of all the days we've been here, this is the best day. This is the best day. Yeah, it's it beautiful out here. Yep, it really is. No overcast. That's what the first lady said. That's what I was looking forward to. <laughs> and that was time to go home. Couldn't convince her to stay on that bike and go on down to Vegas or up to Vegas. Run, run that by me again. I said you couldn't convince her to stay on that bike and ride up to Vegas, though, huh? She got to go to work. Believe me, if I could have, you know, it would have been, been a done deal. I turned that hot seat on her yesterday. She's like, what is that? <laughs> that's, that that's, that's that Corbin on you. Turn it off. <laughs> Beautiful Southern California. Lilo, you enjoying them grips? Man, these grips are a lifesaver. <laughs> yes, sir. Lilo, who did bike up at the wings up, didn't he? Yeah, and the throttle ball. Yes, sir. Lilo hooked this. Lilo hooked. Uh, got hooked up at wing stuff. Yeah, he did. Hey, ladies, how y'all feeling this morning? Did I tell y'all y'all look nice this morning? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Wonderful. ladies, ladies look real nice this morning. That's why they're not gonna say nothing to Victoria about me at Big Club. No, ladies, <laughs> the ladies look so going beautiful. Over, going over one lane, going over left. Yeah. Yeah. It's all yours. That wasn't me at Wing Stuff. That was the uh, clock. Go one more, Chris. This lane trash anyway. What's that? I said go one more. This lane trash. All right. We're going to go over one lane to the left. Godspeed got the back door closed. This is much better here. Yeah. All right. There we go. We in the middle. Two on the left, two on the right. Look at those mountains. Mountains look nice with the trees on it. It really does. So I've really been enjoying myself. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Wing Stuff. I want to give a shout out to Wing Stuff for showing the Caliente crew some love out there at Wing Stuff. Uh, thanks for giving us the tour. And thanks for taking care of all of the guys with all of their accessories and uh, things that they wanted from Wing Stuff. Uh, shout out to Rick, the owner. And all of the staff out at Wing Stuff out here in California, down in San Clemente. Shouts out to Rick, man, for hooking up the Caliente Riders. And also, thanks for the belly pan. I will be doing an install video on that belly pan a little bit later. So, shouts out to Wing Stuff, Rick the owner, and all of the staff for hooking us up uh, with some great accessories for the Honda Gold Wing. Now, see, Chris, this is what I was saying about how the desert look in Vegas uh -huh. compared to California. Right. You see the mountains, you know. Right. Look at that beautiful cross up there on the 1 o'clock position on that hill. Yes, sir. Coming up on Gypsum Canyon Road. Is that a Subaru? Yep, it sure is. I'm gonna give me a loud exhaust on my gold wing. <laughs> I'm gonna put put some put some Yoshimiris on here. Native. I'm gonna take out the internal. Take out the baffles. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Take the baffles out, Chris. It look like you're gonna have a lot of future videos with your Caliente riders in front of you. <laughs> sound like one of them Civics going up the highway doing 50, but sound like I'm doing 150. <laughs> <laughs> look at them mountains. Chris, 
you know you can't stand to see a, a vehicle of any type that sounds like it's faster than it's going. Man, look at those mountains there to the right. It is. This is beautiful. It really is. It's amazing. Uh, let's see here. Express lanes. Uh, may have to go over one lane to our right. I'm not sure yet. Express lanes closed for maintenance. This guy. Go ahead. Pick up another one. Pick up another one. Yeah, he's it. Go ahead and kill yourselves on them bikes. Look at this guy. Look at him fish tail. Look at him. Look, look how he wobbling. That's just too much noise for me. Exactly. Yeah, it's tough when you get tinnitus, man. I thought he was going to do that Honda Death Wobble for a moment. Where that thing was wobbling. Everybody still there? Yeah, yes, sir. Oh, sir. I don't know why I was getting a little humming sound. That's a good thing. It is, baby. Oh. There's a whole lot more of this in uh, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> on the greater side, get on around this truck. Hey, so you guys look to your uh, 11 and 10 o'clock position. See that riding on the brick walls over there? Yeah. I don't know what that's about. That's been there for years. We come in and we don't hear the freedom. Yeah. Oh, nice bump, nice bump. We coming in the Chino Hills. This is the location for the, those three brothers that's in the NBA now. They probably kept talking so much. Right. Yep. This is where they grew up, where they live. Was that the Ball Brothers? Yeah, the yep. Ball Brothers. That's them. Ball Brothers. Folks out here love sports too. Yeah. All right. I don't know about y'all, but I can never, ever, ever ride on the bike without a windshield. Me neither. <laughs> no. I couldn't do it. My windshield is too small. Free ride doesn't have a windshield on it. I only did it when I was a kid. So the day the windshield came available, even on my sports bike, I had to have them. Had to have it. Yeah. And when, and when make you tired by itself trying to hold it up. Yeah, they I not. Need it. I they just need to hide behind it to get more miles per hour. Yep. Hey, they Chris, you, you know what the famous guy said? What? After he uh, rode a motorcycle without a windshield, and then when he got one, what he said? What did he say? He said, I ain't never, ever, ever, I ain't never. I ain't never doing that again. I ain't never doing that again. Those guys not traveling, they just riding around town. Yeah. And big is called those bar hoppers. Yep. 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 All over the corner, they call them bar hoppers. Yeah. Bar hoppers are more famous in Europe than the European countries in the U.S. That's true, sir. That is, that is a true statement, sir. I'm starting to see a lot of brake lights up there, y'all. So yeah. uh, be ready to start slowing down. I don't know what's going on up here. A lot of brake lights. Yeah, like I think it's up. an accident. What way is it telling me? Yeah, something going on. Y'all be ready to slow down. Yeah, Pablo up there in the number two or number one line. Break, 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 and break, and break, break, and break. Can we take, well, no, no, no. It's ugly all the way up from what it looks. Yep. Can you yep. see anything from where you at, God's feet? Yeah, it's an air up there telling the change lane. So whatever's going on is up there. And 
You know how folks always want to hold out the last minute to change lanes and make things more difficult. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we're good in this lane, y'all. Yeah, we need to go uh, keep, your keep, your, 15, keep your eyes on fifteen, right? Sharp. Yeah, normally we would go Barstow, San Diego to 15, but ain't no telling where we're picking Dustin up at. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to the 15. All right. F- uh, 51. <clears throat> Do we need to get over, Chris? I got point nine nah. miles on that. No, nah, we good right here, I think. All right, let's tighten up the formation, guys. Uh, that way we don't yeah. have to worry about nobody trying to cut on us. We like this little car here. Yeah, at some point, at some point, we're gonna need to probably go ahead and get over. So we're gonna take this. I got the left. Uh, line. let's see. Right yeah, lane. I got the right lane, guys. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll take yep. this right lane. Yep. Barstow stand. Yeah, we want this fifteen. Yeah. Chris is Dustin meeting us off of fifteen. Okay. He's gonna meet us at a gas station. Right, right, right. 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 One more. All right. Are right, we going over one more? Now. One more guy. One more lane to the right. One more to the right. All right. <clears throat> Barstow, San Diego, fifteen. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, once we get out of all of this mess and be on uh, 15, it's easy peasy. Right. Going 15 north. 15 that's north. right. Yes, sir. That's right. Watch out for this car trying to sneak in. He's just pushing over. 15 north, Ontario Barstow. Now he's going to be right here. If you getting over, get over, dude. All right, JD, we can we can go back to our formation. Appreciate you. Good All move. Right. Good I move. Got you, sir. Yeah, he's an idiot. He Looks like ended. he got enough power just to jump in front of Chris. He could have been behind Dodge speed and got over. He chose to come up in the middle of our formation. Left left lane, y'all. Let's go left lane, y'all. Yeah, left lane. You good? Left lane. Composure. You good? Behind. Go ahead, composure. Left lane, when y'all. You ready? When you ready? Gonna go over one lane, going over one left lane. Lane two me, or three. Me and Gosby got the back door closed. We good. We All right. good. Back in formation. All right. Appreciate you, D. Lo. Yes, sir. Having talk so much. Yes, sir. I got you, Gosby. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> That Camaro's coming up on your right. I guess they want to say hi to us or something. That's that same idiot. Exactly. Yeah, watch him. Make sure he don't do nothing stupid. One thing about uh, California, they do have good roads. Roads, I, I haven't seen a bunch of bad roads. Right. At least on the interstate. Mm-hmm. The wheel jack, the gas jack. I think the only way I'm gonna, I think the only way I'm gonna remember that is Fast Track and Newport Beach, California. Fast Track, Newport. Beach, California. All right. Uh, none of us don't need to get the bill a year later talking about you owe us 2300 Look at those mountains back over there. They got mountains all back over. Big one in front of us. These. Had a bit of haze. Yeah, that's a huge one. Yep. It is. Look how tall that is. It's just amazing out here. 
Yes, it is, man. Well, look at the mountains right in front of you. If the haze wasn't there, and Ooh, they're, just, they're just ginormous right here. You're surrounded by mountains. Yes, sir. So all that haze is where the uh, air pushes the smog up against the mountains overnight. Yeah. And in the morning, that's what you see. So I don't... Have, it doesn't have a way to go out unless the wind changes directions and takes it out to sea, but usually it doesn't that work that way the air comes in. Yeah. That's in Denver also. This may be too early to talk about, but I'm going to bring it up anyway, if y'all don't mind. Tomorrow, what plans did y'all have besides going to Hoover Dam tomorrow? Grand Canyon. Okay. Yeah. That's what Dustin was talking about, going to uh, Grand Canyon. Doing that yep. tomorrow? Dustin would have to confirm that once he gets, you know, on board with us, but I know he was talking about that. Okay. And the only reason why I bring it up, because tomorrow is really the last day I'll be with y'all. I got to go to the club on Tuesday. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Got to make the donuts. Having said that, I brought it up because I know how much y'all love mountains. Near where I live at, I can take y'all up to Mount Charleston. It's a biker's heaven where everybody drives up to up to the top of the mountain to look down in the valleys and stuff. Okay. So I'm only bringing it up as a topic of conversation because I didn't know what it tell. Your schedule was for tomorrow. Oh. Like I said, later this evening or so, you got to let me know what you don't want to do. Dang, God, speed, that dude looked like he didn't want to let you in. Hey, what he acting like what he going to say is the ass in this trailer. Yeah, really. <laughs> My goodness. And he got the other lane he could just go to and just get over, and he don't want to. Now he's coming over to you right, Godspeed. He can stay over here. Yeah, exactly. Tell him he's gone. All that trying to shut me down to get behind that great car. Exactly. Nonsense. Nothing but nonsense. That's pro shop. Bass pro shop. I love that place. Are you like that? Man. Yes, sir. Yeah, we got a big one back in the pyramid at home. Yeah. They, they got a nice one in Las Vegas. They integrated it with the with the uh Silverton Casino. It's nice, man. Oh, I bet. Real nice. There's a hotel in the top of Rise. <clears throat> yep, they got the taxpayers to pay for a pyramid for a basketball team. <laughs> End up, up we had to turn around and build another place for a basketball team. They said that wasn't good enough. <laughs> the Tomb of Doom wasn't good enough. The Tomb of Doom, huh? Yeah. How many seasons did uh, the Grizzlies play in the Tomb of Doom? Uh, yeah, it wasn't long at all. Wow. Yeah. It wasn't long it wasn't at all. It's long enough for new place, uh, very small to be built. How many seasons did the pyramid have in it? Have no left yeah. It's an old building, though, so I'm back. It was zero. The owners are doing now. They they get taxpayers to pay for new stadiums. And if they don't pay, they move. Find somebody that's willing to pay. That's how we got the Las Vegas Raiders. Well, we put it in our, they put it in our, they finally did something right and put it in the contract. That they had to stay for uh, so long because of the uh, that was in exchange for that new building. 
Oh, okay. If they had us to build, we had already built one. To get a team, and then they turned around and said, nah, that ain't good enough. We want one bigger than that. That's what Chris Berman said on ESPN. And then they, yeah. then they wanted, uh, they wanted to control, they did something dumb. We couldn't do any shows unless they were offered the shows first. So for the entrepreneurs, they don't come to Memphis with too many shows. They go to uh, Mississippi. Going over, going over one. The shows that they would normally do in Memphis at the... Uh, Oh, I forget the name of the place we got there. Uh, they don't bring them there because you get before you go anywhere, you have to get you have to get permission from the uh, big horn. That's that's business, man. That's bad business. Well, it's good business yeah. if you if you if you want to. Uh, have a situation where you don't have competitors and everybody got to come to you. That's, yeah, that's but it was bad business for the rest of the city. From the city, it was bad business because the people who want to bring shows in that can't afford fitting for a place, not going to fill up fitting for them, they can't even come to Memphis. They have to go to Mississippi. So we're sending money to Mississippi, building up Mississippi. We did it with the casinos, because we didn't let the casinos come in. And we did it uh, with the uh, FedEx As far as the casinos, I think that's a state law, right? The, no, the casino, we could have had it because it's on the river. And that's where uh, the riverfront should have thrived, and that would have put so much money in Memphis. But because we didn't let it come to Memphis, we got all the aftermath without the pride. We got the same results with it being in Mississippi that we would have got with, uh, with it being in Memphis, only we would have got the profits from it. The we that said they didn't want to have casinos. Uh, he voted that out. Say again? This is voted it out. Hey, I and just want to know. Huh? I just well, want to know if the people don't want it, I mean, what can you say? Well, they didn't, the people didn't want the crime that was going to come with it. But we got it anyway. Well, that's true. <laughs> they put it close enough to us. That, that was the option nobody threw out here. Listen, we're going to get the crime whether it's here in Memphis or not. So why, get the, why are we going to get the crime and not profit? Well, yeah, I, I, already, I already had the crime. It was already there. We got the crime because of the casinos, because they were so close. What is it, about 20, 30 minutes down the road? Yep, about 30 minutes. Hey, y'all, we're going to take this um, lane to the right once uh, we clear the uh, truck. Go ahead over, Pat. He's going over well, or know, just one over? You know what? I'm sorry. Let's stay on over here, cause I we catch we catching up with that white car, and we'll be slowing down if we move over. So we are gonna stay over here <coughs> for a little for a little ways. Oh, right into the mouth of the mountain. How we look behind you, guys? We everything good back there? Oh, we good. We good. Okay, we'll just stay over here for a minute. Cause we was catching up to this white car. As long right here as next long day. as we keep this pace, we going. Oh man, we ain't gotta worry about nothing. All right.
Now that's a beautiful view right there, y'all. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, it is. That's the view without the haze or less haze. There's nothing more better than making this ride on a bike. It ain't good. Nah, it's a different kind of experience. Y'all in tour mode? <laughs> yes, sir. Tour and tour. I'm in oh. econ mode, as yes, usual. I'm in tour mode. All right. Uh, tour cheers. Tour, tour this. Tour the front, tour the front. <laughs> No, oh, Amos in eco mode. <laughs> Amos in eco mode? Hey. You know he is. Amos, yes, you, sir. you in the eco mode? I am. That's pretty cool that Amos is in eco mode. That way, when we stop to fill up, you can kind of compare, you know. Right. Because I don't have a trailer, and Amos don't have a trailer, so ours to be closer to uh, the number ratio versus you guys with trailers. I know the last time y'all said something about it, I think it was, what, a three-mile three, three mile difference? Yep, you got it, J.D. Three mile, if that, something like that. He saved 20 cents. <laughs> <laughs> That's 20 cents. You know what I'm saying? Them 20 cents, they add up. <laughs> when you're paying $7 a gallon. And you know this, man. <laughs> That's the mystery machine right there, isn't it? On that on that trailer, the mystery machine. Yeah. yeah. That's what it looked what like. What do do? Looked like it. Well, it looks like we got the electric car gang right here on our side, one right here and one behind. All right. Yeah. yeah. And they try to sneak through. You look good behind you there, Godspeed? Nah, he moved over to the right. I said, I said, do you look good back there behind you? Yeah. All right. We clear back here. Yeah. All right. Cause I said, we sent the, we sent the dough up to let them know we weren't going to take no business. Sound like what trying to do. His partner back here in the lane on the side of me, behind me, trying to figure it out. Old Tesla. There you go. Yeah. He's coming up by now, Chris, floating. Hey, d -Lo. d -Lo. Yes, sir. Hey, what was your average gas price before all this craziness started? So we actually averaged between three ten and four dollars. And okay. depending on what part of Vegas you were in, to be more precise, eh, probably like around three twenty five, three thirty, something like that. Oh, that's not that bad. No, and it was comfortable, you know, it was comfortable. Right. But you yeah. can get used to it, even if it goes up twenty cents and stay that way. But when it shoot up a dollar every week, yeah, yeah, you hit that right on the nose, brother, right on the nose. And for the most part, prior to that, um, everybody was living good when it was uh, like two eighty something to three twenty. We right. thought, man, this was perfect. And what's so crazy is this. So, Victoria and I, we always go to Sam's and Costco because we got our memberships there and we can save. But when you go to Laughlin River Run and uh, you go across over to the Arizona side, the same Sam's Club and Costco that will sell the gas in Nevada for 310 you would get it in, in, in uh, Arizona <laughs> for like 280 Wow. wow. Same club, same everything. All you did was cross over some water. That was it. That's right. It. Yeah, it's crazy what they do. Different than the taxes, though. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so I live in Illinois, but I usually get gas in Missouri because Missouri's gas taxes 
lower than Illinois. Yeah. Indiana is lower than it is in Illinois too, right? Yeah, I go to Indiana and get my gas. A lot of people go to Gary. Because I'm normally in Hammond or Dyer, that area, because it's like five minutes from my house across the border, and I uh, save on average 50 cents a gallon. Yeah. Illinois has really high gas tax. Oh, yeah. they constantly going up. That's why everybody moving out of Illinois. Say again? Everybody yeah. moving out of Illinois with property tax, gas tax, just the stupid uh, politics. You can't, even uh, have a, you can't even have a weapon in uh, Illinois, can you? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can? Okay. Not Tennessee. Oh, yeah. If you're from Tennessee, they don't recognize Tennessee. Exactly. Illinois don't recognize anybody. That's why a lot of states don't recognize Illinois. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Well, just yeah. to let y'all know, Nevada is an open carry state. Right. Meaning, you, if you're not used to it, you, you look so surprised when someone walks in Verizon or Albertson's grocery store. Yeah. Or Smith and that gun is just sticking out on their waist side, and it's no big deal. Yeah, it's Texas like that in Texas. Yeah, yeah. But you always run into Missouri the is open carry. You always run into the knuckleheads that just want to do it to show off. You know, they oh, just yeah. show one off. Whenever I carry, I prefer to do conceal because if I am go. in an environment where it's open carry, I don't want to be in the convenience store because I'm gonna be the first one to come to. Because I'm a threat. I got a weapon exposed. I'd rather have mine concealed and hide behind the, you know, the bushes. Right, JD, part, right just, there. That you part just right graduated, there. JD, from the North Las Vegas Police Department. Congratulations, brother. <laughs> <laughs> everything you said, and I mean everything, is totally correct. I try to tell these young kids, stop showing off, get you a CCW, and that will make sure that you can cover your weapon with no problem. But you know what it also does for an officer? It lets people know if you got a CCW that you're educated, you've had proper training with a handgun. Right. So, you know, it just lets people know, okay, this person isn't anyone that's carrying a handgun that's just all willingness, all wild, and, and just don't know what they're doing. Exactly. So I, I invite everyone, please get your weapon, but once again, Get a CCW, and in, right. Las Vegas, in Las Vegas, majority of the customers that go to CCW classes are female. What the name play? Well, see, that, those, those are the differences between all the different states. Because I know Missouri and was that Indiana. All you need is a driver's license. That's all you need. Illinois, we, we got to take classes and be certified and all this other stuff. Well, Illinois is the only state where you have to have a um, uh, uh, FOIA card. Right. Illinois is the only state where you got to have a fire home, fire, um, fire owners, fire owners identification card. Right. Yeah. Uh, real quick, did y'all notice that temperature change? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. so much better. Hey, uh, like Composure. that one though. Composure. Yes, sir. I'll tell you, I opened up the wings, man. I got all the heat coming off the engine right on me. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm about to close them, though, because uh, the temperature's going up. Yeah, tell I you, feel you, 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 you gonna fit, If you get these uh, wings, you're going to like them. Yeah, yeah I like them. really work. Hey, y'all, we're going to take this uh, right lane. We're going to go over one lane whenever y'all get a chance. Got it. Blue car. Blue car. All right. All right. Thank you, Godspeed. You're welcome. Oh, yes, sir. And I got you, baby. Thank you, sir. All right. Yeah, you guys, be prepared on your P's and Q's. As you can see, these roads right here, not good in Victorville. Ah, uh, these patches, man. Can't stand these patches. About 13 miles from our destination. 13 miles. Right around the corner. Yep. Hey, did anybody get a price on them belly covers, that wing stuff? Oh, you should have got it. Yeah. 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 Well, I said that.
But then again, that's more ammunition for the ladies to sell. Uh, look on bit. eBay. Look on what? eBay. I got mine. And I, I can't remember what I paid for it, but it wasn't much. Gotcha. And it's the heaviest, the heavy one. Gotcha. So I got bound for 89 for wing stuff for the performance one, although that old, that's a totally different ball game than what you ride. Okay. Hey, car speed, you get your wheel? Huh? You get your wheel? My wheel? Your wheel. wheel. Oh, yeah, they're in the trunk. Uh, you are the man. Front and back. Got Here, speed, I'm going to have to single file for a second. Them rugs are getting... Look at here, look at here. I'm going to be some Kelly on the highway. Godspeed, you got front you got front and back or just front? Front and back. Oh, yeah, you good to go. Yeah, I got the back. I'm going to sit here. I can go. You get your eyes on you that get, trailer. Who is that trying to threaten me? Who is that coming up from behind that trailer? Hell, you that right. Is that Dustin? That's Dustin. I was trying to get him to say it was that war wagon. What, Dustin, behind everybody? Yep. He's up back there. Yeah, he pulling up the back door in a minute. All right. All I can see is head light. That's right. That's right. Here I am. All right. All you saw was light. Now, we want to. We can roll all the way to Barstow. It's only 50 miles. That'll be fine. I'm going to click above uh, half four. Hey, y'all, we're going oh, yeah, to take his left lane. We're going to take his left lane. That's why I told Chris, let me know when y'all leave, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and time it. We'll meet to the Arco, but I was thinking I'd probably catch up with y'all, and y'all would catch up with me, one of the two. Yeah. Well, he had just told us 13 miles before for the spot. So now we keep making time, do that 50 miles, and get filled in. Yes, sir. I see you got, you got old bull-legged black teddy back there behind you. <laughs> hey, Dustin. Yeah. Your son, was your son sad to see you go? Yeah, they were having a... They enjoyed it this morning. They was they were saying they was waiting on it. They knew it was going to have to happen. Yeah, I'm coming up. They knew it was going to have to happen, but it was a it was a real good visit. We had a real good visit. Oh, that's, that's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Good. That's all right. Justin was back there teary eyed. <laughs> Justin, you no Stone Cold don't cry. What you talking about? Yeah, I was crying. I just told him I'll see y'all next time. There you go. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna lie, I was teary eyed this morning. I know when I walked out to uh, load the trailer up this morning, I was like, man, what is, why is it gonna heat up in the day we're leaving? It would have been nice to stay cool, but. Right. Yeah. But it ain't too bad. It ain't too bad right now. Shoot, this feels lovely. War wagon. We're already up to 77. Just that quick. You'll gain nine degrees in about ten minutes. Yeah, we should be good to almost Barstow and it'll start warming up a little bit. Here, thank you, Lord. Got everything over here. What city is this? Victorville. Victorville. Victorville, okay. We actually had a schedule. We should have been trying to find a cracker bear around this thing. They got one. I'm sure there's one over here somewhere. Yep. 
Because I wouldn't be mad at you if you pulled over at one. Because uh, I am home. Because that, that, that restaurant was... I mean, that hotel, they didn't have no breakfast, no free breakfast anyway. Right. And, uh... The breakfast they had was really good. It's just that I needed a part-time job to keep eating there. Right. Reach, reach up! <laughs> J.D., do you hit me? Oh, yeah. You know I'm financially challenged. <laughs> I don't know why I'm friends with Chris. He's the last one to be friends with when you are financially challenged. <laughs> That's why I stayed up for a year and a half for this trip. <laughs> Dang it, man. Be with my Caliente family. Yeah, a lot of nice things in Barstow. Yeah. Dustin, what's that uh, That one shop? Remember I, yeah, Do you they know got a Cracker Barrel, shopping? though? Oh, the Cracker Barrel? Is it a Burger Cracker? I'll look one up right quick. Yeah. They got an outlet mall there. Yeah, Barstow has that big shopping place where you can eat it, I was telling y'all about. I bet, yeah. I bet you Barstow probably has a Cracker Barrel. Yeah. Yeah. If not, they got a Del Taco. They do have uh, a Del Taco. Hold up. Look around. They got a hey, Sam Burger. Hey, D-Lo. Yes, sir. I know you the, the first ride with the Caliente crew, but uh, the Caliente Gold Wing ride has got unlimited stock in Cracker Barrel. Yeah, oh, say no more. I don't see one in Barstow. Hold on. Because at least what some point it is where y'all stand that Cracker Barrel is heading north on I-15 off right. of Silverton. So I showed y'all that when we left Vegas. What's the next major right. big town? And the next one is Barstow we coming up to after we leave Victorville. Hey, d -Law. Sir. Yeah, I have uh, Marco Loco there. Who? Marco Loco in uh, in uh, Vegas. Uncle Loco? Uncle Loco. No, sir. They keep showing Victorville. What kind of restaurant is that, sir, boy? Uh, they do uh, basically uh, basically Mexican, but they do a lot of chicken, like uh, rotisserie chicken. Are you, are you talking Loco about... Pollo. Oh, you're yeah, talking about... El, oh, okay, yeah, yeah El, of course. El Pollo Loco. That's Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got I it wrong. Know. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I got yeah. those there? Yes, of course. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, El yeah. Pollo Loco. Yeah, they got good food. You know what El Pollo means, Loco? That means crazy chicken. Yep. Okay. That's where the name comes from, El Pollo Loco. Crazy chicken home. Yeah, I went there... Uh, Composure? Yes, sir. I went there last night, but they was closed by the time I got there, so I settled for, uh, I settled for, uh, Del Taco. Del Taco. Go yeah. back there. Go, go, go. If you go, and go. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. You good? I've seen him back there yeah. trying to cross over. Yeah, I caught that myself. Idiot. He should have been get ready to get over a long time ago if he knew he was exiting back there. Any uh, any good breakfast spot or what brunch spot native to California you could recommend that we might run up on since we can't find a Cracker Barrel? Oh, Chris gonna find one. Believe that. Oh, <laughs> If y'all want to do breakfast, I have it at work. That's what I was going to say. I, me personally, y'all, and it's just me, so it charges to my head, not my heart. I, I'm, I love IHOP. You know, I just do. When it comes I to breakfast, good. I have and I, good. I prefer IHOP over Denny's. Oh, definitely. And then, uh, like you said, of course, you can't go wrong with crap, bro. You really can't. But then again, my appetite is different from what it used to be. I just can't hold a lot of food no more. So my portions are very small. I got to get my health right. Y'all yeah, won't believe this, but my precious is sweet. Really? That's a beautiful thing.
Damn, she knocked out. <laughs> hey, little bit do the same thing, man. She get on the back of my bike. She be up for a minute till I feel the back of my head get hit. That means her helmet hit my helmet. That girl went a rock to the sleep. Rock to the sleep, baby. So what you do, composer? You rock to the sleep on the way to the airport, and when she wake up, she'll be in Colorado. <laughs> we got to stop in Vegas for a few days, my brother. <laughs> you talking about on your way to uh, the airport in Vegas? Yeah, on Wednesday. Let her wake up like, oh, we in Colorado. It ain't enough, uh, it ain't enough travel time, probably. <laughs> I hate that she's missing all of this. I'm glad oh, yeah. Leave. Hey, come we get those there. Everybody's going to be tired. She's going to be like, what's your class? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that ultimate seat, she finally, that ultimate seat feels real comfortable to her. I, that was a, that was oh, a yeah, wild perfect. Oh, yeah, in. Yeah. That's what I told her. You got to give it, give it a few miles. It'll break in. Oh, yeah. I think Chris on the G14 classified phone call. His no. secretary over there at the uh, Cracker Barrel office. Uh, but look at he got his uh, look at that when he when he raises his head up, boy, that camera sitting straight up in there. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, uh, I'm not showing one in Barstow. Hey. Below, is it anything else? You, what about Chris? You okay with a hop or you don't like a hop? No, that's fine. I mean, anything we can find there, I'd be fine. Below, you know what one of those might be? The hop. In Barstow? Yeah, I'm going to look it up real quick. When we came out to California, we passed some area where uh, Amos normally stops at a casino. Okay. I think he I said know. there was a Johnny Rockets there or something. Yeah, that was Is Albuquerque. It? Yeah. But if I, if Albuquerque. I, oh, if wow. I, if, yeah, I may, Albuquerque. if I may, real quick, guys, that, remember when we were coming into Barstow and I said, look to your left, that big old building. That said Barstow yeah. on the back of it. That's like a big area for visitors. They got restaurants on that street. I just don't know the name of the street, but I know that turn. All right. I see it. Yeah, we got to get fuel in Barstow anyway. We can just look something up when we get there. Yes. They got yeah. Denny's at Barstow at the Flying J, but I don't, I don't, I really rather not eat at Denny's. That's like a last resort. Absolutely not. I don't, nobody ever goes to Denny's. They, they, is, they end up at Denny's when, it, you know, that's, that's why I look at Denny's. You end up at Denny's. You don't go to Denny's. Hey, I say call Jason. Him and uh, Lil' Bit, they always find them little spots <laughs> off the side of the road. Have a good meal. Now, the T.A. truck stop where we stopped, they have a restaurant. I'm not sure if it's open, though. Uh, Silent Assassin has got connections all over the country. Yes, sir. Yeah, once we get to Barstow and get fuel, we'll look something up. You guys, as we get back this way, this is where we get a lot of them crosswinds. I'm about to readjust my load. I don't like how it's shimmying. Are your load is on? It's not a... Uh, it's not doing anything unnatural. It's been riding good. Uh, whenever I, you know, lean, I okay. can feel that weight. Then I look at my mirror and I can see it like shimmying. But I know I didn't load it up right this morning, no way. It looked like it had more weight to the back. Yeah. Now you see the difference of the mountains. You get back in this area, the mountains just look black. <laughs> no green. But this area all the way back to Vegas, a lot of crosswinds, a lot of crosswinds. I don't think that hotel should have charged for parking. I mean, yeah, how do they expect you to get there? Walk? Not like it was a parking garage. It was just a regular parking lot. Right. I'm like, man. Nothing fancy just... about that at all. No, man. It ain't like you had valet parking. Right.
charge them out of a fee for parking. It was kind of steep. Uh, for open parking lot that anybody could have parked there. Yep. Exactly. Plus, know. most of y'all had y'all, um, y'all bikes covered, so they couldn't see the parking pass no way. Exactly. I thought about that. I thought about that. I'm like, I'm ridiculous. I honestly forgot to even put mine on the bike. I, I did mean, last night. I didn't. I didn't have one on there last night. When I had that rental, when I had that rental van, I uh -huh. took the parking pass off the bike and stuck it in the window of the van. There you yeah. go. Covered up the bike. Probably wouldn't have mattered. It did. But it take was, this, apparently it didn't matter. Take the right lane. Uh, what was it like a sports car or like a, it looked like a luxury uh, this, vehicle? This one was a uh, like a uh, SUV. It was a big white okay. SUV. Okay. It's actually parked next to that uh, Lamborghini last night. So when I I took a picture of it and then I went online and looked up because I didn't know it looked like a uh, you know those uh, uh, safari looking uh, SUVs that Mercedes have. Yeah. Well, that's what it looked like, but it had a different name on it. So I was like, okay, let me see what this is. Right. So, so I went online and looked at them. They, they, uh, they charged pretty penny for them. Man, I'm crying about a sixty, seventy thousand dollar car. You talking about a mortgage with that three fifty? Yeah, that's a whole house. Yes, sir. I ain't trying to show out like that. No, I'm sorry. I don't have nobody to impress. No, sir. I mean, I don't. If you got the money, if money ain't oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Want. Oh, yeah, yeah. But for the yeah. common man, you crazy as heck to get that. Going over one. Going uh, although over some one. of them do it, is living in their mama's basement. I, I don't think no common man is going to buy a $300,000 car. You'd be surprised in Chicago. They rolling Bentleys and everything else, and they living in their mama basement. Or they live with that girl who got that uh, Section 8 in the uh -huh. projects. Uh, man, you'd be surprised getting over on the system. Trying to floss like they living the life. Yes, sir. Uh, Facebook, Instagram living. Yeah. I almost bought a Bentley, but uh, I thought it was a little bit too ostentatious. Then my neighbor across the street had one. I said, I could have got a Bentley. I didn't want to be showing out, you know. Oh, yeah. Then my neighbor got one. I was like, I could have got a Bentley. Which one were you looking at, uh, Brad Warrior? They, uh, it was a two-door, like the one that was at, uh, where were we at? Uh, the the one we were at the hotel when we got there. The GT? The Bentley yeah, yes. GT? I think that's the Bentley GT. Yeah. We're coming up on Barstow, y'all. We're going to take it right lane. By uh, the Seas Bishop. He had one. He was a four door though. I would I, I, I wouldn't get a two door car though. I just I need that space. And they I mean they were fairly reasonable, like hundred and fifty. They're not, they're not way up there. I ain't worried about it. I got my Suburban. It's been a little. <laughs> <laughs> the bumper's been a little, so it's close enough to me. Well, I got a dog named Bentley, and that's how I roll. <laughs> Man. Outlets. Why we yeah. got to get off here? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Hello, bro. I was at this outlet mall here, and, I, and that's when uh, COVID first hit. But we didn't know what it was, and I seen all those Asians shopping there, and all of them had on masks. I was like, why are they wearing masks? The diner. Uh, Raisin cane. Burger King.
Denny's. Yo, Taco. What time is it? 11? It's yeah, 11, 11 o'clock. o'clock. On the dot. Straight up and down. Fat Burger. All right, y'all got a choice? Chevron burger. or? They got a Fat Burger. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fat Burger over there. I think I might have to get a Fat Burger. I'm sorry. Fat Burger is good burgers. Oh, oh, yeah. The road is crowned to the right, so probably not too bad. Pepper across the street, Del Taco is right there with it. Uh-oh. I better get off of this. I know Chris wants breakfast food. Well, it don't Ouch. matter. Desperate. Desperate means they got a uh, they got a El Poco Loco. Is that what y'all call it? It's El, El Pollo. Loco. El Pollo. Beautiful. El Pollo. They got one. Uh, what you say? What is it? You good? We're trying to find something to eat. You hungry? Okay. She woken up now. Yeah, my baby's up now. Well, get out here. Get off. Stretch your legs a little bit. Let me let you off. Coming up. Deer, 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 deer off the side. Watch out now. That's where you usually got to watch the most for them is out these curves. You come out of a curve and they'll be down in the ditch and jump up. You can't react. And they get yeah, you would think it wouldn't be no deer way out here. But well, they got plenty of wildlife out here. And you may see anything, a jackalope, a mountain lion. Uh-oh. A puma. The Matota car. Oh, they got a dog on, uh, uh-oh. No. That was a Lamborghini. That's an expensive yeah. little yep. boo-boo they had. Yeah, probably yeah, right through here like they, a damn bat some, out of hell. Somebody going to get their uh, insurance canceled over that one. Yeah. How in the hell is you in the wreck in the middle of nowhere? Ain't nothing wrecking that you got in a wreck. 